video will demonstrate how to install the BLK-RCT blocking kit onto a central tube ribbon cable. The configuration demonstrated in this video is an 864 fiber cable installed into an 18 tube blocking kit, but this process is applicable to other cable and blocking kit sizes as well. Start by identifying the equipment the blocking kit will be installed into, such as an OMX splice bay. Determine the appropriate amount of cable jacketing to be stripped back based on the equipment. Strip back the outer jacketing based on the equipment specification plus an additional 3 quarters of an inch. Strip back the central tube, leaving 3 quarters of an inch exposed. Clean any blocking gel from the ribbons and then break them into 12 fiber subunits where appropriate. Slide a 2.5 inch long section of 1.25 inch diameter non-adhesive heat shrink tubing over the end of the cable and beyond the cutback length. Position the heat shrink out of the way. It will be used in a later step. Do not shrink the heat shrink tubing yet. Divide the ribbons exiting the cable into groups of four based on how the ribbons will be distributed into the clear oval tubes of the blocking kit. Slide a 1 inch long section of 3 16 inch diameter non-adhesive heat shrink tubing over each group of four. Slide the tubing all the way to the central tube of the high fiber count cable. Do not shrink the tubing. Do not exceed four ribbons per tube. The clear oval tubes are shipped pre-assembled into the metal support plate. Remove from the packaging and uncoil. Cut the clear oval tubing to the appropriate length based on the equipment specification. To aid installation of the ribbon, coat the insides of each tube with talcum powder or baby powder. Do this by first pouring a small amount of powder into each tube and then blowing the powder through the tube using ultra pure, moisture free, non flammable canned air, similar to what is used for cleaning electronics. After blowing the powder through the tube, check the tubing to ensure there is no clumping of the powder inside the tubes prior to moving to the next step. Slide the 3 16 inch heat shrink over the ends of the clear oval tubes. Position the exposed central tube of the cable over the raised screw holes of the metal plate. Position the one and a quarter inch heat shrink tubing such that one inch extends over the cable jacketing, three quarters of an inch covers the exposed central tube, and three quarters of an inch covers the exposed ribbons. Do not shrink the tubing yet. Shrink the one and a quarter inch heat shrink tubing only using low heat. Warning, high heat may melt other blocking kit components. Start with the heat at the lowest setting and then progressively increase the temperature to achieve the desired results. Shrink the 3 16 inch heat shrink tubing using very low heat. Warning, high heat will melt the clear oval tubing. Start with the heat at the lowest setting and then progressively increase the temperature to achieve the desired results. Position the heat gun to ensure that the heat shrink on the bottom row shrinks fully. Insert the clamp kit plate and screws, which is one piece, up through the holes in the base and through the rubber cable clamp yoke. Install the top cable clamp kit yoke onto the screws, then the top plate, and then the hex nuts. For cables with a small central tube diameter, use the supplied cable clamp grommets. Tighten the hex nuts to hold the cable in place. Place the cover over the ribbon fibers of the block kit. Secure the cover using the provided screws. That's good. 
After the four screws have been installed, install the plug into the top cover. Installation of the blocking kit is complete. When using the FST-DRS splice wheel, twist the tubes 720 degrees prior to wrapping the tubing around the splice wheel. With the cabinet to your right, flip the wheel 720 degrees with the end closest to you going up and away. Next, spool the splice wheel as required by the application and place it into the shelf of the splice bay.